everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Phillips. I'm Kim Phillips, PE teacher. And we're mm -hmm. going to be letting you know about the, sex, uh, the comprehensive sexual health curriculum um, that we have purchased. It's called Positive Prevention Plus. We just wanted to give you a brief overview of it tonight. The curriculum has been thoroughly reviewed by the California Department of Education and the Federal Office of Adolescent Health. The California's Addition lessons are written in compliance with the California Education Codes and are aligned with the California Health Education Content Standards. It's also based on California Healthy Youth Act. It's mandated by the state of California that we do teach comprehensive sexual education at least once during high school. It needs to be medically accurate, objective, and unbiased. And it's appropriate for use with pupils of all races, genders, sexual orientations, and ethnic and cultural backgrounds, pupils with disabilities, and English learners. Parents and guardians uh, regarding notification and rights, you have the right to be notified of sexual health and HIV prevention instruction that will be held at your school site. You have the right to pre uh, preview all sexual health and HIV prevention instructional materials at the school site. We encourage anyone that wants to review it um, a little bit deeper is more than welcome to email me and come by during school hours and set up an appointment to review the content. In order to excuse a child from the sexual health instruction, you must state your request in writing to the school with either electronically printed or handwritten with a signature. California does require passive consent for sexual health instruction, meaning if no opt-out note is provided, by the parent, then the student receives the instruction. And if you want, you can email me. That note. Curriculum overview, again, it's aligned with the different education codes and standards. It's going to include activities and skill-based instructions taught by a trained classroom instructor, which this year will be Kim. And then here's our lessons. There are 13 of them, and Ms. Kim is going to go ahead and go over them with us. Okay, so Lisa, you're gonna have to click through. So let's just start with lesson one, life planning. So most of lesson one is already being taught currently in the Pirate Focus class. It's about you know creating a life plan, setting goals, visualizing you know themselves achieving their life plans and their goal, and then identifying identifying several steps they need to take now to reach those goals. So when they're in their Pirate Focus class, they create a 10-year plan and they do goal setting, they do, they create a budget, they you know, learn how to purchase a house and what kind of job it's going to take to, you know, pay for that house and, you know, just basic goals and, and planning life as they're progressing through, through their four years of high school, they, they touch base with it every year. So next one, Lisa. Um, lesson two will be our gender and sexual orientation. Our objectives of this one is we're going to teach them to gender related terms, identifying the importance of acknowledging and accepting diverse gender presentations and sexual orientation. We want to teach them how to be kind to everybody. and. And that's our biggest part of that one. Um, lesson three, healthy relationships. Um, objectives are to identify the three components of love, identify the eight types of intimacy, identify the non-sexual ways to achieve intimacy, identify the qualities of a healthy relationship, and to assess their own relationship skills. Um, lesson four is the relationship abuse. Um, explain why consent is an important aspect of a healthy relationship. Describe effective ways to communicate personal boundaries and consent, commit to and end inappropriate sexual behavior in self. And I don't know what it says underneath there. Let me move you. <laughs> you guys are in my way. <laughs> and consent, um, commit to end inappropriate sexual behavior in self and others. Identify risky sex related behaviors such as sexting and meeting strangers online. Demonstrate a variety of ways to protect himself or herself and identify how to respond to inappropriate sexual behaviors. Um, human trafficking, um, the objectives for human trafficking lesson is define human, what human trafficking is, and that's including sex trafficking. Describe how common human trafficking is in the U.S. Identify populations that are vulnerable to human trafficking. Identify the warning signs and the resources for reporting and escaping human trafficking. We also are going to have a potential guest speaker, Mr. Scott Rounds. He's a deputy with the Sutter County Sheriff Department, and he'll come in. He focuses a lot on human trafficking. Um, lesson six, preventing and unplanned pregnancies. So identify reasons for planning for a family. Like why do they want to plan a family? If they, you know, why they need to describe a range of contraceptive methods, including their effectiveness in preventing pregnancy and STIs. 
identify sexual abstinences as the only way, cert only certain way to prevent an unattended pregnancy or an STI. Identify community family planning and contraception, ser contraception services. Identify the benefits of delaying or abstaining from sex and identify the critical steps in making the, the decisions to whether become sexually active. Um, lesson 17, pregnancy choices and responsibilities. The objectives are to list the key components of prenatal care and responsible parenting, identify key components of their state safe surrender law, and to demonstrate how to make an important decision. Lesson eight is our HIV and AIDS epidemic. Um, describe what the AIDS epidemic is, identify the fluids and body routes for HIV transmission, identify behaviors that will and will not put a person at risk for HIV transmission, Describe how ART, PEP, P, 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 or PEP, and, and pre-P are used in the prevention and treatment of an HIV infection. Identify myths or stereotypes regarding persons infected with HIV and describe the impacts of HIV, AIDS on individuals and their family life, and then express concerns for persons infected with HIV. Lesson nine is preventing sexually transmitted infections. Um, objectives are identifying and describe common STIs and their symptoms describe ways that STIs can be transmitted and to identify community resources for STI testing and treatment. Lesson 10 is protection and communication. Identify absence as the only 100% effective method to avoid an unplanned pregnancy, HIV and STIs. Identify the success and failure rate of latex condoms in preventing pregnancy and the spread of HIV and STIs and describe the proper use of a latex condom and demonstrate condom negotiation skills. Lesson 11 is media and peer pressure. Um, identify pressure from peers, whether it's media or society, to engage in high-risk behaviors. Recognize that not all students participate in high-risk behaviors and demonstrate skills to refuse, avoid the pressure to engage in, in high-risk behaviors. For me, this lesson is a good reality check for them because they are in pressures all the time, whether it's you know their peers or media, and it's not just ne necessarily sexually. So it's a good one for them to have. Lesson 12, accessing community resources. Describe how an HIV infection can spread through a population and identify resources for HIV and STI testing and counseling and information. So they'll be receive a lot of information from your know, resources for that. And I think our last one is the steps to success. How to be successful. Identify behaviors and choices that move them closer to or further away from their life plans and goals. Specify several next steps they need to take toward accomplishing their life plans and goals. Create and sign a personal contract affirming their, affirming their commitment to avoiding HIV and STI infections or an unplanned pregnancy and assess what they learned in this unit. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to Lisa Phillips, our nurse, or myself through email, and then our school number is there as well. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to email me and let me know if you want to stop by and book an appointment to make an appointment to come by and view the curriculum a little bit more in depth. If anybody wants to look our training binders, Kim and I went through a training a couple weeks ago, you're more than welcome to look through it and, and see what, um, what the lessons look like a little bit more closely as well. Lisa, is the link to the website in here as well? The positive uh, prevention? Back in the beginning, it was, okay. it said parent resources. And if you go to positiveprevention.com um, and click on resources and click on parent resources, it goes over the um, part of the curriculum content, if not all of it. And then it goes over the educational codes and everything that it follows. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions? No, thank you for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. If you have any questions or quest questions or concerns, or you want to reach either Kim or I, our emails are on there. That's probably the easiest way to get a hold of us. Kim's teaching throughout the day, and I'm between my office and the health office taking care of sick kiddos. So if you have any questions, by all means, please feel free to send us an email. Thank you.